So um, this is a little review of uh, bearings and um, before I move on to bearings I want you to remember your rules about angles and parallel lines and specifically alternate angles which is when you've got a Z shape um, the angles inside the Z shape are equal so you've got two parallel lines and then a third line that crosses them and then that makes a Z shape that you can see on the screen and the angles inside the Z are called alternate angles and they're equal to each other. Right, so on to bearings and I want you to think about a ship heading towards a port. Um, so it might kind of want to know its direction to the port so um, it might need to know the, the bearing which is the direction towards the port measured clockwise from north and then that's how it steers. So a bearing of the bearing of P from S of the port from the ship is the clockwise direction measured from north. So in this case um, that angle that I'm just animating there and let's say that's 132 degrees. Um, I haven't measured it exactly but that's that's about right for that kind of size of angle. Let's call that 132. So the question is, what is the reverse bearing of the ship from the port? Let's just say the ship starts sinking and then they radio to the port for help. Um, and then some guy at the port needs to know which way to steer to get to the ship. So they need the reverse bearing of the ship from the port. So that's measured at, um, from north clockwise at the port. So this angle in here clockwise from north. Now think again about your, um, your the fact that the original bearing was 132 and think about alternate angles that I talked about at the start because the two north lines are parallel to each other and then the line between the ship and the port is your third line crossing those two parallel lines. So in other words You've got the Z shape, it's slightly stretched out in this case, but you've got 232 degree angles due to alternate angles. Now you've also got a straight line, 180 over on the other side. So the reverse bearing in this case must be 180 plus 132, which is 312. Now, Generally speaking, a reverse bearing is obtained by either adding or subtracting 180 to get a value in the range from 0 to 360, or 000 to 360. I'll explain why the three digits uh, in a minute. But for example, 132 plus the 180 gave you the 312, and the 312 minus 180 would give you the 132. So depending on where you are, you're either adding or subtracting 180 degrees. So let's just have a look at an example. We've got um, 223 degrees and we want to know the reverse bearing. So uh, the bearing of B from A is 223 what is the bearing of A from B? Now if we add 180, we get 403. And 403's no good to us because it's not in the range from 0 to 360. So the correct answer must be obtained from subtracting 180. And subtracting 180, 223 minus 180 is 43. So the required bearing is not 43, but uh, 043. And the reason it's 043, just imagine how these things were communicated um, in the old days over radio, and you get you get interference. So if you hear over the radio, uh, 43, you don't know whether that was uh, 143 or 243 or 343, or in this case, 043. You don't know whether you've got the whole 
information if they say 4-3 or if there was a digit missing at the start. So to make sure you've got all of the information, you read all three digits. Hence, the bearing is 043 rather than just 43. So there we are. Always given as three figures.